Australia has landed a huge coup ahead of the next World Cup qualifiers in March, with striker Apostolos Giannou turning his back on the Greek national team to play for the Socceroos. He's set to be named in Anne Postacoglu's upcoming squad and exclusively spoke about the honour to Daniel Garb in Athens. This has been Apostolos Giannou's home for the past nine years, so much so that he's worn the shirt of the country in international football. But that's all about to change. Born in Greece, but very much bred in Melbourne, he's now switching his allegiances back to Australia. It hasn't been easy, obviously. You know, it's difficult to choose uh, uh, which country to play for, you know, since uh, I feel the same for both countries. The politics here are a bit, you know, a bit more than usual. <laughs> and I think, uh, I know Australia has been uh, going upwards since Ancha took over, so that's a, that's a strong point why I would, you know, want to play for Australia. Australia would be better for me suited as a footballer and, uh, you know, to play, to play for them and to, to give everything, you know, that I can and to bring the best out of me. The 26-year-old sole appearance for Greece was only in a friendly, meaning they failed to lock him down. But this is no brazen Socceroos raid. The green and gold is very close to his heart. I've grown up in Australia. I played for the VIS, uh, the Joeys. Uh, it hasn't been like I've been away and just popped now into the Australian team. I think my friends will be, uh, will be buzzing. You know? <laughs> 13 goals in the Greek Super League this season has catapulted Giannou into the spotlight. Ange Postacoglu knew of him well before, though, having managed him in Australia's under-17s, and the Socceroos boss played a crucial role in winning him back. Uh, just the effort of uh, you know coming here to, to see me is, uh, uh, tells it all. You know you know the, you don't need to say much. And uh, the, the thing about Andrew that I you know that I appreciate was that he didn't try to push me into playing for the other team. He just wanted to see what my mind was and uh, what I thought about it. And yeah, that's, uh, that's that's what he did. Any fear of a backlash locally though is likely to be avoided. Gianu's not just changed national teams but clubs and countries too. Straight after this interview, he got on a plane and became the latest Aussie to make the move to China, signing with Guangzhou RNF. I'm very excited. Um, I think it's, it's time for me to move on. You know, I've been wanting to get out, out of Greece, um, play internationally uh, in other countries. Um, if it, it didn't happen for Europe, then uh, you know, Asia is, uh, I think, the next uh, big thing. Making Giannou's switch of allegiance all the more interesting is the news that Australia will be playing Greece in a couple of friendlies in June. It means that the striker could be lining up in Socceroos gold against the nation that gave him his international debut. It's pretty crazy. I think, um, you know, you get mixed feelings, but um, I don't think that's ever happened to anyone before. Uh, so I'll take it as it comes, you know. Uh, you know, with the boys, we have a good relationship, so... I don't think they will have any trouble on the field. <laughs> and Australia will certainly welcome him with open arms. In Athens, Daniel Garb, Fox Sports News 500.